This video shows how to optimize the Snowflake mapping performance from Informatica Cloud Data Integration by pushing the mapping transformation logic as SQL statements to Snowflake. Before you begin, complete the following tasks. Set up a secure agent in your Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services organization. On the machine that runs a secure agent, download and install the Snowflake ODBC driver and configure a Snowflake data source that can access Snowflake. For more information, see the Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse V2 Connector Guide on the Informatica documentation portal. This video contains three parts. In the first part, we'll show you how to create a Snowflake connection in Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services. Then, we'll create a Snowflake ODBC mapping in Cloud Data Integration. Finally, we'll show you how to create an optimized Snowflake mapping task. We'll start with showing you how to create a Snowflake connection in Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services. Log in to Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services and open the administrator service. Click Connections and create a new connection. Then name the connection, select the ODBC connection type, and then select a runtime environment. Enter the username and password that connects to the Snowflake account. Enter the name of the Snowflake data source and schema that you configured in the prerequisite tasks. Select the code page of the Secure Agent Runtime Environment. Select Snowflake as the ODBC subtype. And save the connection. Next, we'll create a Snowflake ODBC mapping in Cloud Data Integration and add some transformations. In Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services, Go to the My Services page, and then open Data Integration. We'll create a new mapping. We'll start with the source transformation and enter a name. And then select the ODBC connection we configured. In this example, we'll use the single object source type to read data from a Snowflake object. Select the Snowflake object that contains the data you want to read. Now we'll configure the Snowflake target transformation. Select the ODBC connection that we configured. We'll use the single object target type and select the target Snowflake object to write the data. We'll choose an insert operation so we can add sales data to the Snowflake target. Now we'll add a filter transformation to include data for just one customer. For this filter, we can use a simple filter condition and enter the customer ID. We'll also add an aggregator transformation to calculate the total number and price of orders from this customer. Configure the fields and expressions. Add an expression to calculate the total number of orders. When you finish adding an expression, first validate it and then click OK to save it. Add another expression to calculate the price of all the orders. In the target transformation, map the fields from the aggregator transformation that you want in the target object, and then save the mapping. Now, we'll show you how to create a Snowflake mapping task and how to configure the task to optimize Snowflake mapping performance. In Cloud Data Integration, create a mapping task. Name the task. Find the directory where you want to save it, and then select a runtime environment. Now, select the mapping that we just configured and click Next. In the Advanced Session Properties, click Add. Select Pushdown Optimization, and then select Full. These options will push the mapping logic to the Snowflake target. Click Finish. Now let's run the mapping. 
On the My Jobs page, we can see the status of the task. From the Jobs list, click the instance name to view the job details. If you want to view details about the SQL statement that Cloud Data Integration issued for the mapping task, you can download the log file. Or you can view the SQL statement in the Snowflake console. Log in to the Snowflake console. On the History tab, find the SQL insert statement issued for the Snowflake mapping task. In this video, we showed you how to create a Snowflake connection in Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services Administrator, create a Snowflake mapping in Cloud Data Integration using an ODBC connection, add filter and aggregator transformations to the Snowflake mapping, and create an optimized Snowflake mapping task.